Hello and welcome everybody to a quick start guide slash how to connect Grand MA with MA3D tutorial. So in this tutorial we will be doing or I'll be showing you how to connect Grand MA on PC with Grand MA 3D and also getting a quick show ready so here we go first of all what you want to do is open Grand MA on PC and open Grand MA 3D what you do now is you see a screen like this or you'll see a pop up window here just press ok on that and press agree if it comes up with agree and what you want to do is first of all connect Grand MA on PC with Grand MA 3D so what you want to do first go to Grand MA 3D go to file settings you go to network and what you want to do is you want to change the MA net IP address to 127.0.0.1 and press OK. It'll ask you to restart the software so what you need to do is close the software, press yes and just reopen it. And then in MA on PC, go to setup, network configuration, go to 3D and you want to add present and if that doesn't work just let me delete this one. if that doesn't work what you need to go to is network um, control and what you want to do is on the station IP change that to the same IP address which should be 127.0.0.1 Click that and what you want to do is you want to create a session. It might ask you to restart MA on PC, just do the exact same thing as you did on 3D. Close it and open it back up. Then you want to go to MA network configuration, click 3D and add present. Now you see this come up and what you want to do is right click on a session member to come up as yes and then click administrator this can also make you have the same IP address on different consoles then you go to console you can go add present and do the same thing and run one as an administrator or run one as a user so that's why there's two options either one works for 3D so now after you wait a bit something will come up as a loading screen and to make sure you're connected there'll be a green love heart there then what you want to do start your first show and go set up packed fi and fixture schedule and you want to import some fixtures so whatever you, you're going to import you're going to call work so we're going to import some vipers so I'll just click type vipers go from library Manufacturer Martin and just type the fixture and we'll choose the make life of performance. You go import quantity, let's choose 8 uh, fixture ID and channel ID. Just change channel ID to the same as the fixture ID and hit apply. Now these will come up, and as you close out of it, you get something like this. And you want to press yes, otherwise. Nothing will come up. So what you want to do after that, you want to go to setup, auto create, go to group, click one of them, which will be your fixtures, and press create all. Now what's that doing? What that is doing is making it into a group. So when you go click on one of the tiles and you go to pools, click group, and that will be there. So when you want to use that particular fixture you can click that and they'll be selected but they're not there on MA3D because we need to do something 
Let's so go to your external screen. Let me make this bigger. And click on oops, one of the tiles. And you want to go to other and layout view. Nope, sorry about that. Delete. You can right click and delete that window. You want to go to stage view. So go to stage. And then there'll be a box there which is your vipers. So what you want to do is you want to go but just click external one so you can go back to your home. Click the group on the minor vipers and you go setup. Now what that would do is bring up this. You want to do is press position and change that to 180 so they can face up onto the stage. Click rotation again and now change to position. And right click on position X, go minus four through four, please. And that should do that. And then these ones can adjust your height and the depth and stuff like that. So once you've done that, you can clear out of that, go to external or external one and click setup again. So you can undo that and you can have all your programming stuff there. So now what you've done is you have put some fixtures in and that's how you do it for pretty much every fixture. So I'm just going to do it for that one fixture and not do any more. Now I'm going to show you some simple programming. So you go to MALPC again, click your group of modern Vipers. And what I do for programming, I normally have my right, intensities of lights on faders. And then they're the only thing that can control the, the um, light of that fixture if I want it on and off. So like all of my movements, um, they're just movements without any dim, dimmer, um, like what do you call it, presets on it. It's all happening through the executors. So what you want to do is select mine wipers and go full and that should select them like that. And what you want to do, you want to go to first executor command overlay and press store now that will come up as a fader like that what you can do you can click on Q click on the name right click and call the viper once you've done that you can clear out of that and that should be right and then if I put that fader up they should go on put it down they should go up, which is what we need. So now that we've done that, that's pretty much some basic programming. And in the next tutorial, I'll be showing you uh, how to run effects and what types of effects you can do. So this tutorial, I hope you have liked it. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.